Hello friends, Ashish here from Guiding Tech and here with me I have is the La Echo, La One S Echo and it's a very new phone that has been launched by the La Echo under the Make in India campaign and this one is exclusively for the Indian markets. So in this video today we are going to have a quick look at this device and do a quick comparison with the La One S device that we have and then have a look at some of the features that it will come with like the basic subscription plans of the videos and the streaming services. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a look. Now talking about the design, the La One S Echo looks exactly like uh, the La One S and uh, at the back you get a 13 megapixel camera with flash and a fingerprint sensor with the secondary noise cancellation microphone. Now on the right you get a power button and the volume rockers and uh, on the left you get the sim card slot. Now at the bottom you have a USB type C with the microphone and the uh, speaker grills and at the front uh, at the top you have the 3.5 mm audio jack with the IR blasters. Now on the front you have a 5 megapixel fixed focus camera and some sensors and also you get backlit capacitive touch keys. So this was a quick uh, overview of the La One S Echo and if you compare it with the La One S that I have here, you'll barely notice any difference between both the devices. Now the only difference that I find is that the La One S edges are a bit shiny when compared to the La One S Echo which have a matte finish. So I'm not sure if you're able to see it in the camera but the La One S actually have a bit shiny edges and this is the only way you can have a look and tell which is the La One S and which is the La One S Echo. So now that we have seen the build and the design of the La One S Echo let me just uh, turn it on and come back with the basic configurations of all the accounts that are there. So the device has now booted up and I've also configured all the accounts like my Google account and my La Echo account. And the very first thing that you'll notice on your La One S Echo would be the small live button that uh, is in place of the app draw button that we have on all the other devices. Now when you tap on the live button, uh, it will actually load a list of some live channels like you have the Sony over here and uh, CNN, IBM and all the other regional languages uh, channels are also there and at the same time it will take some time but it will load a live preview of all these channels and this will give you that what's going on and what you need to watch. Now depending upon your network connection it might take time for these live tiles to load. So let me just go ahead and open up the Sony Entertainment Channel and these all are powered by Yup TV of course and the La Echo has partnered with them. So as you can see that the Sony Entertainment Channel is playing and uh, it's in 1270p. Now you can change it to maximum of 396p and it will also say you the amount of internet that it's consuming to stream this particular video. So let me just lower the volume over here. So yes, it's actually taking up uh, 1792 kbps per seconds. So which is a good thing and you'll know that how much of an internet has been used for the streaming. Now here you get the English, Telugu, Uriya and all the other uh, regional languages that you can watch live on your device. So that was an overview of the live channel and here you can uh, search for the live broadcasts that are going on or you can just play uh, the channel that you would like to stream. So indeed a very good thing and this comes as a one year of free uh, subscription that you get on the La One S Echo. Now the second app to talk about on the La One S Echo is the La Vidi and uh, this one is like uh, I mean you just need to pick your favorite uh, topics that you would like to see and it will give you videos from various channels like the YouTube, the Eros Now and various other uh, publishers are there as you can see right over here and you can directly stream videos on the go. 
so let's just say uh, there are quite a new movies from eros now like the bajira mastani and prem ratan dhan bhai and there are i mean all the eros now premium titles along with the free and basic would be available so if you let's say you want to play it just need to tap on it and it would be played as you can see the quality is quite good and uh, it's directly streaming from eros now so quite like that i would say now apart from all this you also get a uh, music streaming services that is in partnership with the hangama music and also 5 terabyte of cloud storage to store your personal life files like photos documents but all that's it's going to launch in q3 so this was a quick hands on impression on the lav 1s echo and from what it looks like it's quite promising you get 4800 bucks of premium memberships in which you can stream movies videos music and you also get 5 terabyte of cloud storage which is I would say it's it's quite nice. So friends, that was an overview of the Lava Ness Echo. Now don't forget to hit the subscribe button VR because we are going to play some games, test this device and also compare it with some of the existing devices that we have. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button and I hope you like the video so don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well. This is Ashish from Guiding Tech and I hope to see you in my next videos. Till then take care and have a wonderful day.